Hey, what up, y'all? Trent here. I got to keep my eyes on the road, but I got something in my soul that I want to just talk to you guys about right now, and it's about being people smart. You know, one of the things that I've been talking about the last 13 years is relational intelligence, and what that means is you're just smart about relationships. Every successful person is smart when it comes to relationships because you understand what you surround your life around and what you keep in your life will influence your life. And some of you watching this, I'm just being real because I've been in a place like that in my life where you got the wrong people in your life. You allowed the wrong people to enter your life. Or maybe you pick the wrong people and you wonder why things are going wrong. Right? If you surround your life around wrong, I know it sounds like a dumb moment, but if you surround your life around wrong, you're going to get wrong. You're going to experience wrong. And so a lot of times we aren't very people smart because we fall for things. We fall for the presentation. What does that mean? Somebody comes to us perfect. Maybe they sell us a dream that we're trying to live that they ain't living. And they need you to actually live their dream. Hello. Because I'm going to tell you this truth. Some of you don't even realize that you're the benefit. Right? You've allowed people to make you think that you need them when in reality, they need you. Truth is, some people don't see you as a friend. Some people don't see you as a human being. Some people don't see you as all the stuff they be telling you they see you as. They see you as an opportunity. An opportunity to further their mission. An opportunity to further what they're trying to do with their life. And you are the person. Some of you might be thinking, Trey, what do I have to offer? You have a lot to offer. Sometimes it's your success. Sometimes it's what you're surrounded around, your connections, your network. And people see things in you. Sometimes it's your gifts. People want to get around you to take from you without you even knowing it and them use that for themselves to become quote unquote an expert, to become quote unquote more gifted. And so a lot of times we fall for those things. So I want to remind you this, those people that come to you that really aren't for you, but they act like they are, those people aren't the benefit to you. You're the benefit to them. And I'm going to just talk about a few things right now because some of you might be thinking, well, Trent, like, how do I know if somebody's for me? Right? Number one, I'm going to tell you right now. Trust your discernment. Discernment is a gift. Trust it. It's a reason why you feel a certain way. It's a reason why you look in their eyes and something don't seem right. Right? They words is talking perfect. Their actions might be perfect, but some seem off. And a lot of times what we do is we don't trust our discernment, a.k.a. we don't trust our intuition. So energy never lies. When you look somebody in the eyes and you see something different, I would trust what you see and not necessarily what they say or what they do because anybody can give you a little bit of consistent actions to gain your trust. And that's what a lot of people want to do to be real with you. When they see you in a position, they know that they have to do something to gain your trust so you can open up the doors to your life. So you can open up the doors to your to your heart. And what's funny is some of us, we protect our house. And I know this might hurt a little bit. I was that person. Some of us, we protect our house more than we protect our, our life, more than we protect our heart, right? You wouldn't allow anybody just into your house, right? It takes time to be able to enter your house, right? You got to know somebody for years for the most part to enter your house, but yet we allow somebody that might seem like they're living a dream or might seem like they're in a spot where we want to be or might seem like they have an opportunity that we need in our life and we allow them to enter our life. One of the biggest tricks in pump fakes, people like this, do okay you're gonna become very people smart today so you don't be getting so you don't get used no more one of the things that people do that want to use you number one they want to secure your insecurities what does this mean have you ever had a person and I'm sure you have maybe it's a relationship maybe it's a friend maybe it's somebody it's a new business partner have you ever had somebody ask you way too much about your life way too early they want to know everything that happened in the past. They want to know what that person did wrong, what that business partner did wrong, what that ex person did wrong. And some people have good intentions, right? Not everybody. But some people literally are getting that information so they can understand what not to give you. So they want to give you the opposite. So if, for example, if somebody was a bad business partner to me and they never supported me or never showed up on time, the person that's trying to gain my trust, guess what they're going to do? Show up on time every single time. If it's a past relationship, maybe that person never supported my dreams. Somebody wants to be in a relationship with me, what are they going to do? They're going to make sure they support my dreams to make me think, oh, this person is good. This person really means well for me. 
That's a form of securing your insecurities and we fall for it every time. I'm gonna tell you something. You gotta stop giving your trust away so easily. You gotta stop allowing people to just enter your life so easily. A lot of us, what we do is we give people titles in our life that they don't deserve. We give people positions in our life that they don't deserve. We give people the position of a bro or a sis or a best friend when they ain't showed you any type of quality of that, when they ain't even earned that, when they ain't put in the work to actually earn a spot in your heart. And I wanna tell you right now, cause some of you might be thinking, well, well people don't call me stuck up. People gonna know. Let me tell you, you have the right to protect your life. You have the right to protect your heart. You have a right to protect your family, period. You don't have to let anybody in your life. You are in control of what you allow to enter your life. You are in control of what you accept. And if it goes against your principles, if you feel like something is off, it's okay to say, nah, not right now. Another tactic somebody will use when they're trying to use you is that they will try to make you make decisions way too quick, right? They will basically say, man, like I got this business deal. I'm gonna just tell you right now a story. I'm not gonna say the name because I ain't snitching. But if I said this name, y'all would know who this person is. But it was a popular... I'll just say artists and they wanted to work with me. Okay. This was back in like 2013. They wanted to work with me and they wanted to go on tour with me being a speaker. And they hit me up. And at first I was like, dang, this person want to work with me. But my, my logic took over. A lot of times we get emotional high. We make decisions based upon our emotions and we put our logic to the back. And so this person was like, basically, man, Hey, I'm going to give you a certain amount of time, you know, a day or two to make a decision. I'm like, day or two, like, this is a decision that it's for my life. I need some time to really think about it. The dude texts me back 13 hours later, 14 hours later. He's like, hey, never mind. You took too long. I don't have time to wait. And I thank God for that because I already knew by him doing that, that that wasn't for me. I refuse to allow someone else to put pressure on me to make decisions about my life. So you know when somebody's trying to get you into something too quickly, they're trying to make you make a decision emotionally based upon the dreams that they told you and sold you based upon the lies that they might have told you so you can fall for it because once they're intertwined with you, then it's hard to break away from that situation. Last but not least, okay, and becoming people smart. And there was a study that was done, by the way, that the most successful people in the world are people smart, right? They know how to pick people in their life. Last but not least, I'll leave you with this. I can talk about 20 million things, by the way, but I'm almost about to be home. Last but not least, Someone who wants to use you, right? That wants to take advantage of you. One of the things they will do is they want to infiltrate your circle. They want to get around the people who love you to make them like them. What do I mean by that? You ever had somebody that gets around maybe your boyfriend, girlfriend, your best friends, your assistant, and they try to butter them up because they know that the people closest to you will will influence the decisions that you make. They know that you're gonna go to those people closest to you, your counsel that's closest to you to say, should I do this, should I do that? And if these people are doing things for them, that person is doing things for them, then they're probably gonna be like, yeah, this person is good, this person's awesome, that's what they did for me, all these things. So if you have a person that's around you, that's trying to be in your life, that's trying to do business with you, that's even trying to be in a relationship with you, and you see them doing the most, Right? You see them doing the most, getting around your kids and doing all these other things, just the most. Your antennas of BS should go up. Right? You should understand, like, nah, that ain't right. And the more that you can develop these things and understand this, and again, they're great people to do all these things. They have the greatest intentions. That's why you gotta pray about it. That's why you gotta trust your discernment. And that's why you have to trust your principles. Because those are things in place that will guard your heart, protect your life, and protect your peace. There's some people, and I wanna leave you with this. There's some people, and if I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. There's some people that come into your life not to love you, not to support you, not to want the best for you, but literally to use you. Do not fall for the presentation. Do not fall for the potential. And for damn sure, don't fall for the promises because their intentions and their heart could be way different 
than what those things say. You never have to question something that's real. So if you're questioning it, you probably got your answer. Like I said in every single video, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.